Hello, how's everyone doing today? I am doing good. It is beautiful out there. We even had like one of the windows open for a little tiny bit, so I already could have a sniff. Um, yeah, so I am making uh, some fairies today for my magical journal. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Um, so I've got like a bunch of the Tim Holtz paper dolls picked out that I thought would look good with wings. Um, and I've got some butterflies that I've cut out of, some of them are die cuts, some of them are different, you know, magazine ephemera or whatever book ephemera. These are all stickers from the antiquarian sticker book. So what I did there, um, I didn't want them to be sticky back cause I'm playing with them, putting them on these things and stuff. So I just want them to be paperback and then I'll just glue the whole thing doll and all on my ephemera, my pages. Um, so what I did, I didn't just stick them on computer paper, it was just computer paper. I didn't just stick them on there as is, because I find the Antiquarian Sticker Book stickers are, A, they're kind of thin and flimsy. I tore one accidentally, peeling it out of the book. Um, but they also don't really stick super well, um, to anything that I've tried to stick them to. They're kind of like some washi tape where they just peel off. So I figured I'd be better safe than sorry, and I stuck them down with just a glue stick. Then I cut their backgrounds out because they do have quite thick backgrounds. Most of them, or all of them had backgrounds, yeah, but most of them are like really thick. So I'm just cutting that out. Now I'm leaving the butterfly bodies for now, just in case I don't use any, or if there's any I don't use as fairy wings. Then I'll be able to just, yeah, use them as a butterfly. <clears throat> so this is what I did. Cut these all out. Sorry if you hear Artemis snoring in the background. <laughs> yeah, so there. I've got a bunch of little um, butterflies and moths like that. And then I took um, all this awesome painty paper I did last week, was it? Um, just scraps and stuff with my Twinkling H2Os. I took those. You're not getting the shimmer effect. But yeah, anyway. Um, took those out. And this is this one. It's got like the butterfly wing on it. Or uh, dragonfly wing it's called. So I made her some little like fairy wings kind of thing. I don't know if I would have maybe liked to put little little veins on there or something, but I mean, I can always do that later. All right, so I've got way more than I need, of course. That's just how I work. I'll make like 500 of these things and use like eight, <laughs> but I'm not gonna make any doubles. So um, with the Tim Holtz paper dolls, you get a bunch of different sizes of the same doll. And, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh I need a nap. So yeah, I'm just going to make one of each doll kind of thing that I have picked out. I picked out these ones because they seem to have like the best poses. And um, I've got a few um, pairs and I thought these ones would probably be good because they're far apart. So putting wings on them should be pretty easy. So there, I got that girl done. <clears throat> now, I cut out um, a couple of like weirdly angled butterflies yeah weirdly angled I guess like they're not straight on I thought I had another set oh yeah right there so there's yeah this one's got his wings almost completely folded his two wings or wait no this is oh yeah right there you can see a little sliver of the other wing this one's kind of a really weird angle and then this one so I knew there was um oh this lady this lady is turned so I was thinking, you know, the direction she's turned too, she's, that's too much. I think this might be the ticket. Does it go, nope, let me say it goes like that. No, it probably goes like that. Because that's the more decorative end, isn't it? Okay, I don't know. But anyway, it's going to look better like that. I think that's cool. Or should I go with a smaller her? Ooh. No, those are totally upside down. <laughs> But I don't think they were. I'm pretty sure when I cut the body off, it was that way. And like the bigger, yeah, yeah, because the little angly parts there and then the bigger parts down there. Yeah. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue. And 
and it's okay if I make too many of these, like I'll use a bunch of the magical uh, journal and then I will just keep them in my ephemera. I'm sure I'll need, uh, it won't be the last time I'll need fairies. I did find some fairies. Um, I had some stickers and bought some kids books. That's really cute. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of want to do like a, hang on here. Yeah, I found like a few fairies and kids books and things. So, <clears throat> but I wanted to have more. I always have like so much more, you know, mermaids and unicorns than I do fairies for some reason. Oh, I think these were the single ones. Yeah, I think I only had one of these guys. Okay. Um, now, this girl I really like too. But she's kind of turned a little bit, but I don't think she's turned enough to make it look right. Hmm. Does she look okay with... Usually what I do is I don't leave the butterfly wings whole. I'll cut them and move them like I did. I'll show you on this. Yeah, like they're not necessarily whole. I'll kind of move them around. <clears throat> Oh, that might look really nice. So what I usually do is just cut the body off them. I probably don't even need to do that, so it probably won't show, but yeah. I just, um, like, yeah, I just leave them together though, just in case, yeah, I decide to use them as butterflies or it's nice to have the pair of them together if I'm going to be using them as fairy wings or something. I don't lose one. I feel like it's kind of meh. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe it's too big. I don't know. Let's see. I really love this one. This is like this like ginormous moth. Oh, she could look really cute with that, maybe. <clears throat> And if I happen to cut the wings in half or whatever, cut them in half and not use them for fairies, that's fine. Someday I'll use them for something. Once in a while, if I'm making, you know, even a journal or whatever, sometimes, sometimes you need a little fairy to tuck in. I like the way she's holding her dress. She's doing like a little curtsy. Isn't that cute? Maybe I'll move that up a bit. <clears throat> it's nice too because the Tim Holtz um, paper dolls are like glossy on the back. So, oh, she's got little punch-out bits. I forgot about that. So you can move the um, you can move the wings around for a little bit since they're glue stick. Oh, there. What do you think? Does that look good? I think that looks good. I love the color of those wings. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. So yeah, I've been sewing today. I gotta get some sewing done for tomorrow. Um, and man, I was having a tough time with it. I hate sewing knit fabrics, especially like knit hats. And that's what I was doing. And I'm trying to sew patches on them, but like the fabric moves around and stuff. And I didn't have half the stuff I'd normally have, like my iron on interfacing and stuff like that, or my iron more accurately. My iron is packed away somewhere. Um, but yeah. I finally figured out a, um, a solution. I was going to use this. I have this for my embroidery um, for patches and it'll, I figured, okay, yeah, I'll glue the, I'll glue the patches onto the fabric and then it won't turn or wiggle or whatever. So I tried that and it worked. And then I thought, what about this glue stick that I absolutely hate that doesn't stick to anything? Cause it's just a washable glue stick too, because it uses quite a bit of glue for the on the back of the patch like because it's bumpy and stuff so it takes quite a bit of glue off um and I gotta tell you this is a lot more expensive than this so yeah I use this and it seemed to work great so that's what I've got going on now I'm just letting them dry so I figured you know what I'll kind of just make some little fairies whilst that is drying okay who are we going with next oh we already did her <clears throat> 
Um, how about this little girl? I like her. She's really cute. And I only had apparently the one, the one size of her. So I was thinking this might be a little too small, maybe. This little butterfly. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. I never thought I probably should have put down my my drop cloth here. My bond paper. Yeah, see, my body just gets in the way. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, okay. We can do that. That works. <clears throat> Again, I just put a little bit of glue and just like the little triangle part. If it goes over a little bit, that's fine. It's so small, you'll never, never see it. So then, yeah, this just becomes like the stickers just become part of the uh, part of the little embellishment. So then, all I got to do when I want to put them on a tag or on a page is just uh glue the whole back like I would like normal. Put glue on and stick her down. There, that makes them look kind of longer. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. <clears throat> I like this little boy too. Most of the boys and men like all had hats or I don't know. Well, I guess I could have used them with hats, but I didn't like really any of them. They were all sitting down and holding stuff. And, but this little boy, he is just adorable. And I'm like, yeah, he'll work good. It's kind of cute. Is it too small? Too small. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe the blue one. Is it too big? No, I don't think it's too big, is it? And actually, I'm good with leaving those together like that. I think they look okay like that. <clears throat> These are, I don't know, I got these in a, I don't know where I got these. I think they're digital printouts and they're covered with some sort of, I don't know, clear varnish or something. These butterflies, I got a bunch of them. I should have had my dollar store butterflies, but I don't know where they are. Packed away, story of my life. There, I think that's cute. Okay. Um, hmm. How about the two girls together? I don't want too many of, like, two people together. But I want at least, like, one. <clears throat> I love these. I love this one. It's like a moth. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. And then her sister... Oh, yeah. Love that. I'm going to cut them, though, so I can angle them a little bit differently. That one's really pretty, too, but I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, I gotta say, the Antiquarian sticker book, it's kind of disappointing. Like, it's its nice in that, like, the images are really nice. Some of them are really weird, and you'd probably never, ever use them. But, I mean, there's also a lot of really nice images in there. Um, but, yeah, I find the quality of it 
The stickers are really thin and they don't stick well. And it's very expensive. I got it on sale, but I think normally it's like, I don't know, something like $40 Canadian or something, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, hang on. I want to alter this wing a little bit here. Cut out that little piece. There. There. And you can't see the other bit of it. Okay. Yeah, if given the chance, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But where I got it on sale, I mean, you know, I'm not too torn up about it. But yeah, definitely disappointed about the quality. It's not a normally scrapbooking type stuff, supplies or whatever. Paper supplies are better quality. Especially when they're priced that high. There. <laughs> cute. Cute, cute. Okay, am I making these? I am. Okay. I want to make sure I get different sizes too. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'll use the other doubles girls. I think I'll just use that one for the with the two of them. They're kind of going to be, yeah, I don't know where I'll put them. Um, hmm. No, I get a small one. Okay, yeah, I could use either or, this girl and this girl, and then she's this size. Oh, yeah, that's like perfect. Perfect right like that. So we've got things going on for the house this week. Um got to talk to our bank and make sure that they're approving everything there like we we're pre-approved for a mortgage but they've got to um like do the actual approval or whatever so all the paperwork and all that and make sure everything's good and then we'll get a home inspection fingers crossed on that one it does it the house looks like it's in really good shape like we didn't see any major um we're not experts but I mean we know quite a bit you know, having owned a home for the last 18 years, we've learned a lot. And I now, like, we'll fix our own appliances. Like, I fix, personally, I fix the lawnmower and I fix the stove. So, yeah. Rob fixes the washer. Hmm. But, yeah. We'll get the inspection, you know, get the experts to go in and see if there's anything majorly wrong. Fingers crossed. I don't know. I feel like none of these are really big enough. Well, that does work though. Do I want it kind of more? Let's try it like that. We will. Yeah, you see what I mean? If I leave them together, yeah, I prefer them apart because then I can kind of angle them weird. You gotta imagine that they're coming out of her back instead of like an animal all attached kind of thing like like a butterfly how a butterfly's wings are attached to itself it would be a bit different coming out of this girl's back they'd be a little more apart I would think there <laughs> that's so cool all right she's done now we got this girl, because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, counting this as one. Okay. Um, what do I got? I got the blues, oranges, yellows. Oh yeah, and I want to make, I kind of want to make a few more of those. I might have to go back through my, well, you know what? No, I'm going to make her one of those. <clears throat> what size do we want? Maybe the little one? Because we've only got one little one over there. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. And we will pick it out. Hmm. I love that purple. Blue's nice. Oh, yeah, purple, I think. I think we'll do purple. And what I'm going to do... Where'd that pen go? I had a pen. Ugh grab a micron here is 
I want some text, but I'll do it this way. Well, no, I'll do it straight. No, we'll do it that way. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I'll leave it on the wrong side. Okay. So I just kind of sketch it out and then cut. it out a little more too here. Kind of eyeball it. I can always trim down later. Let's see how that goes. like doing like more like a dragonfly type wing. Like I imagine it overlap. I'll come in later with like a white gel pen. Cute. Okay, so this is angled a bit. So now I want the opposite side of this and I will Sure, the words are going the same direction. There we go. It's easier to cut like this. So I just hold it on there and then cut around. Gotta be careful because this paper is old and delicate. Even though it's painted, it's still it's still kind of crunchy. It would tear easily. Dab of glue. Yeah, I will definitely take a white gel pen and make those like more little, more like little dragonfly wings than butterfly wings. Got a little corner to smooth out and a little go roll there okay I'm still kind of moving around all right so let's 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 see if we can get a gel pen working on this <clears throat> Oh, look at that. That is so cute. I'll do the outline. I'll do some little, little like wingy vein things. Okay. Woohoo. Hmm. I find it easier, yeah, just to kind of draw an outline of the wing shape on the back of the paper and then cut them out and then, you know, draw the details on after. I'd hate to draw the details on first and then cut the wings out and find out that I don't, you know, I don't like them that size or whatever. I'd want to change something. So I find this definitely easier. And it would be a shame, too, if you spend all this time drawing all this wing out and then you go to cut it out and, like, mess up or something that would be bad that would be a pain I'm gonna glue that arm down too it's kind of a yeah it was already bent it's definitely very delicate delicate little piece 
I was just gonna go through like magazines and find images of like little girls or whatever to make fairies and then I was like oh wait it was Tim Holtz I almost said Tim Hortons because <laughs> I'm Canadian um the Tim Holtz and I don't even like Tim Hortons the uh Tim Holtz paper dolls I was like, oh, wait, I don't need to go through and find a bunch of girls. And plus, I mean, they're way cuter than like, you know, if I would have gotten, you know, kids in modern clothes. It's like, no, nah, the vintage is way cuter. Way, way cuter. I'm going to have a, a variety of fairy types, though, for this book. Because I do have some stickers I found. Different, uh types of stickers and then I have a couple of couple of the book pages there <laughs> what do you think ah those are so cute all right so here's all my little fairies that I made woohoo <laughs> I don't know which one's my favorite. Um, hmm. I think maybe, maybe her, because I like the little, I, I like the wings on this one best. I think the big like swallowtail wings. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Thanks for uh, coming along. And um, yeah, until next time, take care. Bye.